Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Let me know if you can hear and see okay. It looks really cloudy on my phone, but hopefully it's not that way for you guys. But let's have some late night crafting. This is late night for me. It's not really late night and I'm a night owl. So let me know if you're a night owl too. I know sometimes I'll be on Facebook really late and see some of you on. So say hey to me. Let me know if you can hear okay and see okay. It looks okay on my iPad. Hi, Tracy. Does everything look okay to you, Tracy? It's not sure why, but my phone is so dark. But it looks okay on my iPad, so maybe I hit a button on there. I don't know what I did. Maybe I turned off. There we go, that's lighter. Okay, I think that we're good. Y'all come on in. I'm gonna need your help because I did not send out a text alert tonight. So help me get this out there so that all of our Art and Grace friends um, can come in and join us. Hello guys, hi Mary, Ocean Breeze and me. You guys have to be sure and follow my friend Mary. Um, let's see, hi Sheila, hi Cynthia. Oh goodness, I hope that you're having a decent evening. I know things are so hard for you girl, I'm praying for you. Um, you know lift up each other when you see the the needs out there thank you for sprinkling that is what I need because I did forget my text alert I'm, I meant to send it earlier um, just so that I wouldn't bother people who are getting ready for bed but I totally just forgot so if y'all will help me get this out there it would really help hello guys this is my segment for craft around the clock they had an opening tonight so I went ahead and took it I love being here with you guys I love seeing all the friends and I always just take a couple of minutes at the beginning to say hi to you guys hi Jeannie hello Dolores um, hi Lisa, Mary, Denise, Cheryl, I don't want to miss anybody. Hello Mary Marshall, Jenny, Cynthia. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anybody. Let's see. Hi Andrea, thank you for sprinkling. Hi Patty, awesome, I'm glad you're here. Um, okay guys, so you know, if you know me very well, you know that when I craft, I like to use paint sticks. They are so inexpensive. You can pick them up at Walmart or any home supply kind of store. Linda, oh goodness. Going back, yes, well bless you. We have so many needs. I know in my group alone, um, lots of prayers are needed. And so I know it's that way across the board. And when I see your comments and and know of any needs, I write them down and, and keep you in my prayers. So feel free to put them here in the post, in the just right here in the feed. But anyway, I like to use these craft sticks. And so that's what we're going to start with tonight. Now, normally I would use wood glue to hold these together and a little hot glue. But tonight I'm just going to use hot glue. It'll be fine. Thank you guys for praying for the friends. I appreciate it. Hi, Michelle. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, when you pop in with me, I love it. And um, I know I'm looking down, so I'm not going to be able to say hi to some of you if you say it right now. But I will go back when this is over. I'm just kind of getting a little bit on the side. And then we'll put these together and kind of, you know, squeeze for just a second. Hi, Claudia. And hi, Sue. Thank you so much, Claudia. You're so sweet for doing that. Yes, lots of needs, you guys. And and honestly, I feel like, Cynthia, I feel like your husband's doing better, right? So, um, you know, they work and not always how we want them to, but but sometimes, you know, I guess if it, if it aligns with God's will, it's going to be the answer we want. So it's not always the answer we want, but we sure are praying for that. Hi, Carrie. I'm glad to see you again. And goodness, this afternoon we painted in my private group and they don't, they didn't know what I was going to do. And I painted something and Carrie just whipped it out. She, I love seeing you guys create the things that we teach. So whenever any of you make something that we presenters are showing you, Oh, please let us know. Please show us either. Thank you, Claudia. Either send it to me on a private message, post it on my page or tag me on your page, whatever. I just want to see. It just makes us so happy that you liked it enough to, you know, to actually create it. 
So like I said, just putting a little bit here on each little wood piece, holding it together for just a second. And then I'm going to use um, a couple of these craft sticks. They're the wider ones, so not a popsicle stick, but a little thicker that you can get at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Michaels, any of those places. I'd like to pray. Thank you, Patty. I appreciate it. Hi, Trisha. I do, guys. I appreciate you all so much. Hope I haven't missed anybody saying hey. Thank you guys so much for sprinkling too. I really do. I go back. You know, I went back. Let's see. Yes. I'm just going to put a couple of these along the back side of this um, to stabilize it. Like I said, I would normally use a little bit of wood glue as well, but for tonight, we're not going to. Hi, Diane. Glad you're here live. Very glad. Um, so, you know, I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to do tonight because I'm all over the place. I love all of the summer stuff we've been doing. I love fall. I definitely love Christmas. Halloween, like right now, is the perfect time to be really, if you're a crafter, this from here on out is our favorite times to craft. Yes, thank you, Carrie. And I know you and Rick sure need them. And, and we're all praying for you. And that's what I love about our communities. Um, you know, even if you're not a person of prayer, that's okay. Don't let this deter you from being here. But a lot of our friends are. And so when there are needs, they will lift them up. And I so appreciate that. Okay, so here's what it looks like from the front. Just, yeah. You've seen, you've seen us do this before. Um, we're going to make this little scarecrow a farmhouse kind of look. So we're going to use the muted colors. I did go ahead and cut one of these craft sticks down for the brim of the hat. So as you can see, it's I cut about a couple of inches off. And um, I didn't want to do it on camera because of how I do it. I will take a box knife and just kind of score it really as hard as I can. And then I've got these big kind of, probably y'all, they're probably for like bushes outside. I don't know what they are, but anyway, they're kind of big and bulky, but I will take those and kind of, you know, crack into it and break it off. So it's not pretty how I cut it, but you could saw it off. If you have one of those little hand saws, that would be perfect. Um, thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you sprinkling. Oh, thanks, Mary. You see my trees. Um, oh, Diane, I'm glad you, thank you for doing that. You're so sweet. I love seeing your blessings for us all. Okay, so we'll get to this in a second, but I want to go ahead and paint this little girl. We're going to make her a girl. So, hi, Karen. How are you tonight? Hi, Jeannie. Good to see you. How are you? Are you in New York? Are you in, is it North Carolina? I forget. I forget if you have moved or not. Table saw. Yes, that would, that would be perfect. Anything you have. Oh, look at this. Patty. 30 hand-drawn and painted ab animals. Log cabins, forest, field and more, all for Christmas. Are you saying you've done 30? Is that what you're saying? That's amazing. N North Carolina. Okay. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Um, Nelda, hello. How are you? Thank you for sprinkling. So I'm just taking some white and some brown. Um, this is dark chocolate and just some white. We're going to make us a tan color. I'm going to use a different brush so I can just mix these up real quick. And then I might use a little bit of gray. I don't know. I'm, try I'm trying to, I'm kind of just thinking as I go how I want the, I just knew I wanted the farmhouse look. So I think, I'm kind of thinking as I mix, I think that, that I like these colors and then maybe a little bit, let's do her face a little bit lighter. We'll have this and then this darker. I have all my little embellishment things in front of me, so hang tight. It's going to be cute. Just trying to think if I want any gray on here. Let's just kind of get going. I might, I might do a little, I think I'm going to put a little gray out, and we might do a little mix. 
Oh, that's awesome. Nelda, thank you for sprinkling. I forgot to send my text alert and it's got me worried. I just hate it if I do that because, you know, there's going to be people who are like, oh, I didn't know. And I hate that. So when you guys do sprinkle me, if you, if you guys are in those groups that allow it, please do that because that, you know, that just really does help. So hopefully more of my friends will be able to see if we do that. So thank you for doing that. Oh, Diane, you're so sweet. So sweet. You guys always say you're too good to me. I just worry about not telling people that I went live and and I said I would and then I just forgot. So anyway, I'm mixing up a little bit of gray so that we can make this look, you know, very farmhouse and kind of um, you know, so this will be more of a wash. I'm going to get a lot of water in my brush. Hi, Cheryl. How are you tonight? Uh, Jeannie, we're going to do a scarecrow, but it's going to be a cute little farmhouse. And I have a couple of things to show y'all on how I'm doing this one different than some I've done in the past. So all I'm going to, I've just, if you just got on, I've just glued it together to where it's one piece. And here's going to be the brim of the hat so from here down is where i'm going to want you know kind of a a browner color i think you can do this however you want to and you've seen these i know this isn't something new per se but this is kind of a nice easy size to do it only took five of the paint sticks uh, going this way and one for the brim of the hat and then just supplies that you already have is how we're gonna do the rest. You'll see, it's gonna be real cute, I think. I have not made one yet, so this better turn out. And I think she will. Hi, Helen, how are you tonight? Glad you're here. Thank you. Well, I'm really happy that so many are here tonight because, you know, I'm a late night person, but I know a lot of people kind of get in bed and wind down at nine or eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and maybe some have kids to get ready and pack up, you know, for the next day and all the things that we have to do. So I'm happy that you're all here. Oh, I'm glad you're here, Marina. How are you? Okay, so we've got just kind of a basic face. Um, I am gonna touch into some of this gray just mix right on top of my brown and kind of lighten it up to give it kind of a a washed look sort of a you know that kind of farmhousey look and we can do a little more once this dries if we need to but let's just kind of leave it like that yeah hi monica i am definitely a late night oh well i miss you marina how are you um, you can either come in as your business or tell us your business name so that everybody can follow you. Oh, thanks, Arla. I'm glad you're here, and I sure hope you're feeling better a little bit and that, gosh, this doctor appointment on the 5th goes well. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, look at you. Thank you. <laughs> School starts back here tomorrow. That's crazy. August the 3rd? Wow. We didn't start till right after Labor Day. I just, they move it, you know, further back all the time. Okay, guys, y'all help me with the colors. I always am so indecisive when I do this. This I do want brown because I'll tell you why. I'm going to put some burlap over it, I think. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Linda. Man, I wish I had Linda's last name. Linda Hobby. That is an awesome last name. <laughs> That's like your last name being artist or something. Linda Hobby, Linda Artist. I need that. Artworthy life. Gosh, I went blank, girl. I was like, oh, why can't I not? I don't know. I, I quit worrying. I, I used to say every time I'd go blank, it would just freak me out that I had Alzheimer's since my mom and her parents both had it. But you know what? I can't, I can't worry. I can't just live my life worried about it. But y'all keep assuring me that everybody does that. So 
but when I go blank I just mm, don't like it so this is just basically to get some color on this stick and we will we will be covering this one with some burlap but you know some of it might show so of course of course are you still doing a lot of watercolor it's been a while since we've connected so you get called Hobby Lobby by Katie <laughs> that's funny um, hope that I have caught everybody that said something to me if I didn't you just say it again and surely I'll see it the next time hi Deborah I'm sorry I didn't send out a text alert you guys I know some of y'all are used to getting them and I just flat forgot crochet a lot Helen crochets a lot that is awesome I really want to I want to learn yeah it'll go all right I have faith that that you're gonna be fine it's just been a long road I know and not not as planned but not everything does go that way well hello Kim how are you hi Ian I'm so glad y'all are here it makes me so happy to see your names I'm like yes y'all come on into my little craft room here okay so we've got you know that's about the same color but that's fine because this one's not really going to show the top of the hat is what I'm struggling with do we want white I think we do never been able to enjoy crocheting really I think I will love it I'm gonna do it it's just a matter of when how are you Kim what's going on with yesterday's tomorrow's so just gonna make a lighter color so we can have like a tan um, I have a really pretty tan in a bottle but why not use what I have here on my palette so just getting a lot of white in this and then a little more water thank you crystal absolutely I haven't seen our friend Patty Melts on here but if y'all know her I know she could use the prayers too we just keep keep each other you know lifted up for those that need it I'm probably gonna brush over both of these with a little white anyway just to kind of wash them out a little and make them look a little more farmhousey I'm just really feeling that lately um, it, I'm telling you ever since I did that gingerbread uh, banner I've just kind of been in that really neutral kind of mood and I don't know why it'll probably change but okay so this top part will be a little lighter also need to do the sides thank you for passing the blessings guys I appreciate that so much especially since I didn't do my text alert but it'll be okay age instead of also <laughs> Marty for sure I mean listen it just it really does happen to just about everybody you know because I've seen other people say the same thing so I'm not gonna just sit and worry about it I'm just mixing up a little more of this tan, trying to get it a little whiter this time so that it's not the same color. Love the gingerbread. Oh, thank you. It's so easy and inexpensive. I love showing you guys inexpensive things. You can always take the ideas that any of us show you and go all out and make them just as nice as you want to. But I kind of like to have my base be more of an inexpensive craft so that everybody can do it. It doesn't leave anybody out. And then if you want to really go like high end and make it look like Pottery Barn, go for it. Because um, I love that too. I'm just always thinking about budget friendly, budget friendly. And um, so I, that's why I like using these paint sticks and things like that things you can get at Dollar Tree and so we're gonna add a little of this light probably gonna dry brush some white over all of it let me get a this one will be good oh that's great Linda sometimes when I see the pictures I think oh it's so busy it just really I've just got a lot of my art back there and um you know as i make it usually i just kind of put it behind me and, and it just collects so i'm just kind of dry brushing some of this white on here let's 
get kind of a farmhouse vibe going. Hi, Bonnie. So good to see you. I used to work with Bonnie at the hospital in Fort Worth. In fact, the hospital that I was born at. Can you believe that? Long time ago. Good to see you, girl. How are you? How's your family? I remember you saying that somebody was sick. Was it your grandsons? So I appreciate you guys being here. Clothes pins. Um, I have made a wreath a long time ago with clothes pins. I haven't made too many. I've made ornaments, you know, but no, not not really too many crafts with clothes pins. Okay, so I'm kind of adding quite a bit of white down on this face. So that this is going to be her face. So I like that. And then we'll leave this kind of tan. How about that? Or should we do it more white? I'm really torn about how I want this to look. Because you could go so many different ways. What do y'all think? I am all. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> Patty. You know what gives me hope on that is um, like my daughter will do that. And I'll say, okay, well, what were you doing? before you walked in here and she'll go, oh yeah, I need whatever, you know. So if it happens to a 20 something year old, then it's gonna happen to us. 85, oh, Levada, that's awesome. Oh, Bonnie, was it you? I was thinking it was your grandsons. Well, are you having any long-term problems? I hope not. I know a lot of people do, but I hope you're not. Oh, yes, Helen, do. Okay, guys, I'm almost feeling like I wanna do white up there. I think it's gonna be too much white though. I'm just gonna do a little more on her face, I think. Oh yeah, AJ, if somebody will let them know, I will try to do that next time. I forget to even, to even I do that on my replays and I don't know if they can hear me saying this, but I will definitely add that on my replay because we can go back on replays and add it. I didn't know we could do it on the front end, honestly. So I'll have to figure out how. Okay, guys. I got a lot of white on this now, but I think I just had something in my mind and I think this will work better. A blue hat. Well, this is going to be super farmhousey. So I think I like this for this. But yes, you can do whatever. So I got this roll off Amazon and it is fantastic. And I don't know, Michaels or whoever you buy yours from is probably similar. Um, but what I like about it is it doesn't get all over the place like some. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut a strip that will fit on here. And I'm using pinking shears because I'm thinking maybe it will have less fraying if I do. I don't know. Does anybody know if it will? But we're going to try it and see. And as you can see, there's very little fallout. There's like hardly anything on my table. So, and then I'm going to just glue this on the hat, the brim like that. Leave a post on your desk for telling everyone you're going on. What does that mean? Leave a post on your desk. Leave a post on your desk for telling. Oh, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I'm trying to figure it out as I'm doing this, but I'm not sure. So let's just kind of glue this on. Yes, I like this roll of burlap. Yeah. And luckily I do you know when you order on Amazon you have that list of what you've purchased so it's easy to repurchase and as long as they send me the same thing then we're good I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this wherever it's a little too big on that one side I just vacuumed in here today so I'll try to get this to the trash can below me okay so this will go about here. What I thought I would do is use a piece of this 
for her nose. And I'm just cutting it into like a triangle. Wait. Yeah, this way, right? We'll need eyes and all of that. Um, so here's what here's what I'm doing. I also a while back purchased this big bag of ribbon of like lace is that what it's called? Lace ribbon from Amazon and it's cotton, so I love it. And also we did a I helped my son's girlfriend on a diaper cake. I don't know if y'all remember that or saw it when I did it. But we ordered this or used this ribbon. I don't, I'm calling it ribbon because it comes in a roll like ribbon, but you can see it's like crocheted little tassels or whatever. So this I'm thinking will be cute bangs. So we're going to give her some bangs. So we'll need to cut that about, you know, so long. Oh, good, Helen. I can't wait to see it. Hi, Carol. Leave yourself a note. Oh, yes, Claudia. Yes. Gotcha. Thank you. Yes. I just, I usually don't forget that stuff. That's why it's frustrating that I did. We've had a, a long day, though, so I guess I'm not too surprised. I am going to just kind of put a dot of hot glue up and down this so this will stay pretty good. And I'm really just, you know, eyeballing it to make sure. So I want this to look like bangs coming out from the brim of her hat. Right? What I was going to use was some of this. If you, let me just show you real quickly so that you know how to do this next time. Because if you haven't done it. Because you can take this and however long you want. I'm just showing you the technique. And take one of these and just start kind of pulling away. So far, so good, huh? We'll see when, when we're done here. But I think it's going to be cute. And just keep pulling. And usually, I'll take, you know, something and you can kind of really go fast if you have something to kind of help you like that. So just do this a few times. Yeah, I'll look into it. Thank you, Tanya. I will definitely figure that out. Um, I know, I don't know, let, if you'll just let somebody let them know that it will be on there after the live, because I do go back and turn that on after my lives. It's just a button, you, it gives you the option. So that also, this is what I was going to use for her bangs. So kind of picture, you've got the brim of the hat and then this coming out. So that would be just as cute. But the reason, so I wanted to show you that so you now know. The reason I wanted to use this is because I took this ribbon and I have all different kinds and sizes since it came in that kit. Oh, Diane, that's awesome. Yay, 110, that's awesome. Um, thank you all for being here. I know there's a lot of people live right now and you chose this, so I'm so grateful. So anyway, I took some of this ribbon and just braided it together just like you would your hair. You just take in the three sections, you could just go back and forth. And here's what I came up with. So I taped this to my desk and then just braided the three pieces together to get little pigtails or braided pigtails. Hi, Brookie. How are you? I'm good, honey. I feel so much better this week. <gasps> Beverly. Where is my jar? I just was showing somebody that. Does it look like mine? I bet yours is cute. I would love to see it. Um, okay, so anyway, we're gonna, that's all you do is just braid ribbon together or you can use raffia. I've braided raffia, uh, whatever you have, but I had a lot of this, so I thought let's use it. And you guys use what you have. Maybe it's, you know, tell me how long, that's the thing. I don't know if we want these long like this or what do y'all think? I think it looks okay, but y'all tell me. I guess I could get her face on there first. I think the nose goes up. 
I can't remember. Is the nose up or down? Thank you, Kim, for sprinkling. I appreciate you. You like them? Thank you, Cynthia. Oh, thanks, um, Jimmy Lou. I appreciate you. How are you? You love it for the braids? Okay, good. Does Is it a good length? Hi, Zena. Carol, thank you for the stars. Um, I have not been going. Last week I was sick. We had a service for my mother-in-law who passed away. And so Facebook has not been very, um, how do I say this without getting in trouble? They are not helping me in any kind of way. So thank you for sprinkles and all this stuff. Thank you, Andrea. The braid's adorable. Nose is up. Okay, so just like this. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, maybe that's not the right way. So we're going to put on some eyes. Hi, Lou. Well, I'm glad you're here. We have so many amazing people that watch. Look at Monica. Wow. Thank you, Monica. That is so generous. Um, we're having a stars party, Patty. Awesome. Okay, so let's paint on a little you can use a marker so if you don't have um, you know paint or you don't want to paint no problem just use looking for a better brush just use um, you know a marker so here's where if I mess up it's gonna be on probably right here so let me take my time and figure out where I want her eyes but this is really just to inspire you guys Sometimes my upside down projects are not the best because I'm doing it upside down so that you guys can see well. And I hope you can. There, that might be even better. Um, I actually really enjoy painting upside down. I don't know why. I think it's just because I've done it so long now that it just feels normal. How's that? I feel like y'all are talking and I'm ignoring it. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for sprinkling. Is that you, Angie? Um, oh, thank you, Cynthia. Sherry, Debbie, Thank you so much. Kim, thank you for saying that. Debbie, I appreciate you sprinkling. You guys are amazing. Totally blow me away. Okay, so there's her little eyes. We can add um, little eyelashes with a tiny brush. And then I'll glue this thing down. I'm kind of holding it so I don't mess up hi april how are you how was your day we were just talking about you or i was because we're using um do you remember april do you remember this from the baby shower cake the diaper cake um i used that for her bangs so just hot glued it to the back use what you have and this is what I had and it's a farmhouse look so it was perfect and I we didn't have a lot of it left but I was like didn't I I said let me have that I'll use that so use what you got you know I'm just kind of doing a few little eyelashes here they're not perfect but it's okay Thank you. You're cooking dinner. That's okay, Claudia. What are you having? Brookie, thank you for the stars. Thanks, Marty. Hi, Jennifer. How are you tonight? Your craft that you did today with um, Totally Dazzled is beautiful. Hi, Melissa. How are you? So good to see you, my friend. Um, Melissa, come in as your business so that people can follow you. Melissa is one of our new Craft Around the Clock sisters. So you wanna be sure, you know, if you're a Craft Around the Clock sister, mention it if you see people that you don't know. And you guys, take a look at their page. You will not be sorry. Um, 
there's nobody that I've ever watched that I don't think is amazing. And, um, and I know you will too. So if you come along and you see, you know, a business, it doesn't hurt to just go take a look and see what they're about. Give them a follow. That's the best thing you can do is, you know, help these small businesses. You know how it is. Uh, we're all just trying to survive and pay our bills just like everybody else. And so by giving them a follow, sprinkling a page, those kind of things, you are helping a small business, you know? And the closer we get to that 10,000, you know, I hate to, we don't like to just talk about numbers, but um, once we do get to the 10,000, Facebook does start helping us financially. And that's why it's not about having you know, it's not about the number per se, it's about Facebook and what we have to do to try to get some salary coming in. Okay, so just gluing these to the back, I'll show you with some hot glue. It looks kind of funny right now, doesn't it? But it's cute, I think. I probably need to check my watch and be sure I'm okay on time. Let's see here, 8.38. This goes by so fast. Ooh, shrimp scampi, guys. Yeah, I know, Melissa. It's a good group. Okay, so let's do a little mouth. I wasn't even thinking, but she needs a mouth. And I like to do, for my scarecrows, just kind of a crooked, you know, crooked little jaggedy mouth. And I'll hot glue this on in a second. I'm going to kind of do a starting point on each side and then just kind of crook, crooked till they meet up. I don't even really need it to be solid black because it's going to have more of a farmhouse look if it's not perfect. So just like that. And then let's dress up her hat a little bit. Just hot glue this down. So here's what I'm thinking on her little brim of her hat. And we can go ahead and, and glue this down now that we've got the, the little pigtails. There we go. There's Melissa. Graceful barn. Um, so one thing I'm noticing is once I tilt her little brim of her hat, one pigtail is going to be a little longer. So I'll probably need to go in and cut that off. Right, we don't want it to look weird. So I just eyeball everything. You can definitely probably do this neater when you do yours. It does look farmhouse. Good. This is what I envisioned. Okay, I'm I'm so happy to see it looking farmhouse. Now for the hat, just take, this is what I had. I did not go buy anything. This is stuff that I had on hand. I have a little bucket that I throw all my um, fall and then I have one for summer. So I just went in there and grabbed a few items out of that bucket. That's all I did. So I'm sure that you have either a bucket like that or um, literally if you see this fall on the ground, pick it up, throw it in your bucket. You know what I mean? It doesn't take much when you're embellishing something. So don't throw that stuff away. I'm just going to put a few things on her little hat here. We need a name. What should we name her? What's a cute little country rustic name? Thank you, Trisha. Thanks, Brooke. Thank you, Kim. Debbie, y'all are awesome. Appreciate it. Yellow Daisy. Daisy's a cute name for a little country girl. What else? Y'all, let's have a little idea purge here. I'm just going to kind of put some random pieces on here. No rhyme or reason. Just get a little cluster going. I like the fall leaf. I think I'll have this one kind of coming up. 
Ruthie, Polly, Daisy. Those are all good. Debbie Sue. Those are all good country names. Ellie May. That's a good one. Daisy May. Uh, Holly. Greta. Harriet. Eloise. Lucille. I think that's what that says. Daisy, Sally, Dolly. I love Dolly. Billy Jean. Where do you live, Billy? Um, I kind of even like that stem, but I'm going to cut it off so it's not. Oh, we got to hurry. We got to hurry. Um, I found these little yellow flowers. They're not, I guess they could be considered a sunflower. They're not probably exactly a sunflower, but I'm going to use them. So let's cut this off. Daisy May, Austin and Gertrude. <laughs> Austin said Gertrude. <laughs> Gertrude it is. I think we, how about Gertie for short? I have to give everything a nickname. Like, I love um, giving a nickname. Billie Jean, I can't stand my, I can't, when I replay my, I go back and read the comments, so I'll just run the video as I'm, you know, and I just cringe. I, so thank you for saying that, but I don't know if everybody feels that way where you just, oh, oh, okay, so when you fringe, when you fringe, remember how I showed you to do that? When you are taking off these pieces, bundle them up. So all I did was I took these and bundled up because, you know, I talked so much I was afraid I would run out of time. And I tied them around the middle. And this is my bow. It's a cute little country bow that we're going to tuck in here as an addition. That is cute. See how country that looks? Love it. No, oh, Cynthia, thank you. Gertie was the little girl. Oh, I love, love that movie. I know, 110 friends. That's awesome. Y'all, this is my month that I'm really trying to um, celebrate and be grateful for how far that we've come. It's so hard sometimes, but so, it's the best, it's the best job in the world. And I've just made the best friends, you know, by doing this. And I just don't think I could go back to in-person paint parties anymore. So anyway, um, thank you for being here and for stars and for sprinkling. That is it. And then we'll just make a cute little hanger. I will cut her hair to give her, you know, the right length on this one so they hang right. How cute. She's definitely farmhouse. I really like how the farm, you know, her face looks farmhouse to me. What should I add, you guys? Do y'all see anything that I didn't think about? What do y'all think? You like Gertie? Okay, she's Gertie. Let's say that. I like it. I like it. You guys helped me. Thank you, Trisha. I would love for you guys to follow if you're not. Please do. Um, watch a couple of them, and if you if you just can't take my voice, then unfollow. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you. I love everything you do, so that means a lot. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Um, Carrie, did you know that was my mama's name? Millie. Um, so, guys, please go follow The Next Crafter. I apologize that I don't know who it is, but up in the description of this video, you will find the link to Craft Round the Clock. If you're not already in there, just touch that link, and we'll go watch the next one together. Thank you for being here and for all you did, and I'll come back and read your comments. Bye, guys.